Hey everybody, it's Monica with Fit Eats Coach and today I'm back with some of my favorite TRX fitness tips and exercises to help you stay strong, energized, and injury-free for all your travel adventures. So I've been using a suspension trainer since 2009, outdoors, indoors in my home, in the gym, and also while traveling in hotel rooms, in hotel gyms, and especially now that we have an RV, I'm gonna be taking it pretty much on every trip. It is one of the most versatile pieces of fitness gear that can really target all your fitness components and all your fitness goals. So today we're gonna to focus on a little bit of strength, a little bit of core stability, some mobility, and a little bit of flexibility as well. These are things that I also teach a lot of my personal training clients that are really active and who like to travel and do all kinds of fun things on their travels. So let's get started. Okay, so our first two exercises are really great for correcting any posture imbalances from long hours of travel. First, we have a scapular retraction with bent arms. Some people call this a face pull or a head pull, and you'll sometimes we'll see people doing this exercise on cables at the gym or if you have a cable system like I do, um, I sometimes do this exercise at home, but I actually prefer the suspension trainer version of this. It is really, really effective for activating all those upper back muscles and really getting those shoulders to come back and the head to come back in alignment with your spine. Next up, we have a single arm torso rotation where you're dropping back into a partial squat by straightening the arm that's hanging on to your suspension trainer and you're reaching your free arm all the way overhead and down to the floor. This is amazing for opening up the entire front of the body, activating your core, strengthening your back and your biceps and as well as your legs. If you've been spending long hours driving, this is gonna feel really great. S stretch on your chest, and it's also gonna prep you for all kinds of rowing and climbing movement. So if you have that planned into your day, or if you just have a lot of heavy lifting to do, like suitcases and other gear that you're taking with you on your travels, this is gonna feel like a really great stretch. This move can also be done on the floor. It can be done with cables and even kneeling. Um, but the TRX is probably one of my favorite versions of that exercise. Okay, next up we have a very dynamic tree pose into a crossover lunge hip stretch. So this exercise is amazing for continuing to open up the entire torso. You're stretching your obliques, your chest. You're also engaging your deep abdominals and you're working on your balance. In addition to that, you're also stretching your low back, your hips, any IT band issues that you may have are going to be vastly improved by this exercise. And while this exercise may look really, really simple, I have advanced clients who really struggle to stay on their feet when they're doing this. So if you have issues with balance when you're out doing, you know, really rocky hikes or kind of bouldering um, type hikes, or maybe you have a hard time like balancing on your stand-up paddleboard um, when the water gets really choppy. This exercise is going to help you with all that. Plus, it's going to help to continue and undo all that damage from long hours on planes, trains, automobiles, all that fun travel stuff that happens um, that kind of holds you back because you're feeling kind of stiff. So. Next up, we have another move that's really similar to the previous one. It's an overhead single leg balance into a front lunge with a bit of a fly. Now we're getting into some really deep chest stretch and you really gotta activate your core and your upper back muscles as well as your glutes. Now, if you're going to do this exercise from the ball of your foot like I'm doing, um, then be really careful that you're not allowing your knee to lunge past your toes. Now, the reason that I'm doing this exercise on the ball of my foot instead of landing on the entire foot and then pushing off through my heel is that I was trying to have better foot positioning for some of the yoga poses that I was trying to do on my stand-up paddle board. That didn't end up working out for me <laughs> this first time around but it's actually improving my stand-up paddle 
yoga practice um, and it is because I am strengthening my calves which is something that I tend to really neglect so you can even work your calves with suspension trainers if you know exactly how to position your feet All right, next up is one of my favorite exercises, which is ATG squat into a hanging back bend. ATG means ass to grass. As you can see, my butt is practically on the floor. If you don't have this kind of mobility though in your hips and in your back, then just squat as deep as you can. Really feel that stretch. Try to sit into your heels and really hang there for a bit. And then as you row yourself back up to standing, you're gonna extend yourself back Draw your belly button to your spine as you backbend. This is gonna feel so amazing. It's one of those exercises that's like an up dog, down dog, but it's a standing version of that and it feels really great. Now, once you do a few of those, go right into just some basic incline rows just to kind of get that alignment with your back and really work on a little bit of back and arm strength. After this, we're just going to do a little bit of overhead side bending, which feels really amazing. This is actually a nice stretch for your lats, your obliques, and also your hips. And it does help to improve your balance as well. Right after that, we're going into a thread the needle. But you have your arm overhead and you really have to press your palm into that TRX to keep the straps nice and straight. And this is what provides that extra stretch through your lats, your obliques, and if you're adding that rotation over to the back as you're coming out of that threading, then you're gonna continue to open up the chest and the rest of the torso. Um, this is yoga inspired movement. It's a little bit more advanced, so if you don't have really good back mobility um, or shoulder mobility or stability, maybe skip this move until you're a little bit stronger. Finally, we have the one exercise that I love to teach a lot of my super active clients, especially clients who really like to bike a lot and hike a lot. So you're going into a suspended deep lunge and you're piking your hips up in the air after every repetition. So that has the added bonus of stretching your hamstrings. You could just do a deep lunge instead without that pike, but you're missing out on that hamstring stretch. At the end of all your reps, you're going to add a bit of a twist. You could add a twist after every repetition, but I didn't feel that was necessary this time around. Sometimes I do add a twist and I do have videos on all of the TRX stuff that you could possibly imagine doing at home or outdoors or when traveling. So be sure to check out my channel. Give us a like, subscribe, leave us a comment and definitely check out the blog post with more info on all these exercises and where to get your gear if you're not wanting to spend $200 on a TRX or maybe you want a fancier TRX that's a double the price of a TRX. All that stuff is gonna be posted over on the blog. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more exercises and tips to help you get your fittest, leanest body.